Hello everybody and welcome back to Beyond Horizons. Uh, apologies for not doing an episode uh, for a couple of weeks. I've been pretty, you know, up to my neck in university work. I'm currently writing an article and also doing a lab project as well as all of my lectures. I've been very, very busy, but I have managed to have a little time to play some KSP. And well, this is what I've been doing in that time. You see, I got another one of those contracts to take an investor around the KSC, and uh, depending on which one I took, I would either get a contract to build a casino in space or another hotel. Now, the thing is, I wanted to do another hotel just because the casino one's quite difficult. I think you have to get four asteroids uh, and make a hotel out of it, so no, <laughs> I'm not doing I don't have the time to do that. Um, so I took the hotel one instead, but the thing is, the contract is exactly the same as the last one, where it asks you to ha just at least have a periapsis of over 350 kilometers and the, uh, you know, ability to store 50 kerbals and electricity and all that. But I realized just because it's asking me to put it in that orbit for the contract doesn't mean it has to stay there. After all, our previous space hotel, Tavern 2, is already in that orbit, so I thought it'd be a bit more exciting to put our next space hotel in lunar orbit. Anyway, to land the contract in the first place, we took the investor around the uh, space center in the Hypnos rover. We figured we'd show them, you know, what we're capable of and say, well, this is the rover that's going to Eve and maybe we'll impress them so much that they'll give us even more money for the uh, contract. And in an attempt not to undersell the investor, I decided to give this hotel two huge gravity rings. Now, I know there's um, a mod that gives like big gravity rings like this it's the stocker like station expansion and i've tried it and it is a very cool mod but it doesn't work very well with texture replacer and i want colorful space planes more than i want big space station parts so i had to make this out of like various mark three parts and mark one cockpits and all of that stuff so yes yeah, it's, it's not perfect but i do like how it looks it was, of course, an absolute pain to launch, uh, much like the core section, actually. Just nothing fit inside the 5-meter fairings, which is the biggest that I have available to me. And even then, it just wasn't big enough to, like, encapsulate even, yeah, the little cross section in the middle. So all of the rockets were very difficult to fly. I had to restart some of the flights quite a number of times just because they didn't really like pointing in the right direction. The drive section was the only thing that actually fit inside a fairing, uh, but even that was a pain to launch just because it's so big and so heavy that I just didn't give it the um, ascent stages enough fuel to get into orbit, which meant I used a lot of the fuel in the actual drive stage just to rendezvous with the main space station. And this was actually quite a big concern because I had designed it to have lots of Delta V just because first I need to get into a 350 kilometer orbit to satisfy the contract and then from there head to the moon. So I had enough fuel it turns out to actually get to the moon. So what I try to do is make my encounter with the moon after my Apple apps in the orbit. So that way I could reach Apple apps, bring my peri apps to the uh, you know required height for the contract and that works we got a nice big 840,000 funds payout for that and then from there we went onwards to the moon and did uh, the usual insertion burns uh, I even had enough fuel actually to try a few different altitudes for our station I ended up settling on 95 kilometers or thereabouts as I thought that was you know nice and high above the moon so you get a good view but uh, close enough that the textures from um, parallax actually work and makes it look a bit better the station uses a few of the robotic parts from the Breaking Ground expansion. Obviously, we've got the two rotors for the gravity rings there, uh, but we've also got the solar panels on hinges. Uh, and I actually had a funny moment when I was rendezvousing the uh, drive stage. Um, I noticed that one of them was flexing outwards a bit as the main craft was turning. And I was like, oh, I better lock that in place with auto strut. And I forgot that if you're doing that while it's flexing, the Kraken likes to come out to play. And yeah, made the whole thing explode. Had to do a quick cheeky little reload. Uh, unfortunately, I hadn't actually quick play for quite a while. So I basically had to do the whole rendezvous a second time. Yeah, usually the robotic parts are fairly well behaved, but, you know, they must be respected as they do tend to invoke the crack. And if you don't treat them with kindness. So whenever I uh, am not at the station, I lock the rotors and just make sure that, you know, I don't load it in and it just explodes randomly. But yeah, there she is, Tavern 3 in all her splendor. She's now open for business, so hopefully uh, sometime soon we can start getting some tourists in there. That'll all be in a future episode that hopefully comes sooner than this one did. Um, yeah, and again, apologies that I haven't uploaded in a while. I've just been very busy uh, with uni work and everything. And 
got some extracurricular stuff as well like i'm helping restore an observatory so that does take up a bit of time as well um i had wanted to sort of try and stick to a weekly upload schedule but it doesn't really seem to be all that possible just i don't really have time to play Kerbal space program and it is a game that takes a while to play so i think maybe i can try and aim for every two weeks and hopefully that'll be some kind of you know schedule but i do apologize if i don't stick to it i just know i am trying my best since I didn't have all that much time to play KSP, I just wanted to do something a bit fun with the time that I did have. I know we have the, the Moona base, although we're still waiting for this terrain to be excavated there, and we have a few more things to do for the EVE mission, but I've been doing a lot of both of those things for quite a while now, so I wanted to just do something a bit different and, uh, you know, have a bit of fun with the game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did like the episode, please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing to the channel. And if you want to catch up with older episodes, you can uh, either check out the playlist that this is in, or I've also been experimenting with these little uh, end cards here as well. Uh, hopefully it'll take you to maybe an interesting episode. But yeah, I've been Moonfish1001, and I will see you in the next video.